Hockey. Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video here on uh, getting these um, little SSD 1306 OLEDs up and running. Uh, this one came from, uh, was in one of the hacker boxes. And um, anyway, this one runs on an I2C interface. And I uh, thought I'd shoot a quick video on uh, using a library that is provided from Rinky Dink Electronics. And they are the same, uh, it's the same place you can get uh, the U, uh, UTFT and the UR Touch libraries. So the library for this uh, is basically a very similar language. So if you use uh, those libraries, this library for this one uh, works really well and it's uh, simple to use. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to hook this up to a breadboard. Okay, so we're going to hook that up. And we are going to use one of these um, Uno knockoffs. Uh, this one comes from Robot, Robot Dime. And uh, this was also in one of the hacker boxes. I've uh, been wanting to try it out. I really like the solder mask. That's really cool. I like the black. So if you're building a robot or something, this would probably fit right in. Um, anyway, we're going to hook this guy up. So let's get some jumpers here. We're going to use uh, blue on ground and red on full positive. So here, here. Let's go to ground. And if you don't know what the voltage requirement is of anything you're plugging into the uh, into your Arduino, always select 3.3 first. And then if it doesn't work, then move to 5 but don't start out on 5. I, you'll, uh, you can burn things up. So starting out on 3.3 will save you, uh, save you some headaches. All right. So next we're going to need the data pins. Now, to know exactly where we're going to hook up the data pins, we need to go over to the computer. So let's go over there and let me show you how to pull it up. Okay. So we go over here. Now, um, the website... Uh, that you need to go to. I will put the, uh, the website right down here and I will also post it in the comments. Now, when you get to that website, you'll notice that there's several different files to download. Um, you're going to have the OLED IT, I2C, SPI Flash, and then you're going to have some status icons. Um, these can be incorporated into either one of these two and their examples, and then you can incorporate in however you want to. But the one we're going to be using today is going to be the OLED I2C. So I'll open this up. You're going to find the main folder. Make sure you get your only one up in the tree. Now you're going to uh, copy that, paste this over into wherever you have your libraries in your sketchbook. You're going to paste that. Okay, there's our library. Make sure it's just one folder down, or it's only one removed. Everything's inside this folder and it's not inside of another folder. Now we're going to open up our Arduino IDE. And wait for it. There we go. Then we're going to go over to our examples. Go down here and we're going to be on the Arduino. And we're going to choose the 3D cube. Okay. Now once we open this up, you can look inside of here and you'll notice that you have an Arduino Uno, Leonardo, Mega, and Do. So these are the pinouts for each individual board. We're going to be using the Uno. So the SDA pin is going to be on analog 4 and the SCL pin is going to be on analog 5. So let's go back to the board. Okay, so we're going to be using A4 and A5. So A5 is going to be on the SCL and A4 is going to be on the SDA. So there we go. So there's our four connections. We're all hooked up. Next thing we do, we hook up our USB. Okay, so we've got connection. All right. We go back over here to the computer and all we do is make sure that we are connected and we're on COM8 and we're on uh, the UNO board so we look good and we 
just going to upload. And it's compiling. Once it gets to the upload stage, we'll go back to the board and watch it. Uploading, so we're back to the board and let's see what happens there we go now we got us a nice little 3d cube and this library does a lot of other things too uh, for example let's try something else here uh, should be simple let's go back to the computer real quick let's close this one okay. let's go over here and see uh, examples e2 Arduino all right, let's see, um, how about a graph? That sounds good, let's do a graph. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks like it's the same pinout, so let's just upload it. And let's see what happens here. All right, let's see. Compiling. Uploading. There we go. Rinky Dink Electronics. Demo. This is actually kind of cool. There we go. Yeah, so pretty cool. Um, I kind of like this. Dig this little uh, display. I thought it would be multiple colors, but it looks like it's just single color, which is fine. I mean, um, this could this could do all kinds of different things. So, well, there you go. Um, that's how to easily set one of these things up in a decent library that has tons and tons of options. And ooh, Pac-Man. Um, it, it just makes it easy when you have a language in a library that's that's well thought out and works really well. Um, so thought I'd share it with you guys um, if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down let me know why um, if you like my channel please subscribe and as always you guys take care see you next time